not adverse to risk, not allergic to uncertainty, not stifled by fear. They did kingdom business with all that Jesus had given them. This week at Urbana 12, we've met extraordinary kingdom leaders. But you know, these men and women are just ordinary followers of Jesus who've experienced extraordinary love for God, who've been given an extraordinary life from Jesus, and it's he that's made them extraordinary kingdom leaders. They kept saying yes to God. They kept standing up and saying they are committed to living for Jesus no matter what the cost, no matter what they have to sacrifice. So what about you? Do you want to be a part of a new generation of students setting the pace for spiritual advance? I heard yes. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to be honest with your friends about your relationship with Jesus? About how much Jesus matters to you? Are you willing to run counter to the image-obsessed, image-addicted culture and risk not measuring up to others' measurements of coolness, sophistications, and intellectual prowess. Let me tell you about a few students and alumni who've been doing exactly that. Their actions, as simple as you'll hear, are beginning to set the pace for spiritual events. Let me tell you about me and Jordan. In his first year of high school in Toronto, Ubi was far from Jesus. He called himself to me in embarrassment that year. His lifestyle was dark and destructive. His grades were poor. His relationships were skewed. Jordan, his best friend from Vancouver, invited Ubi to the University Pacific Pioneer Camp to a teens camp. When Jordan wanted his best friend to attend and meet Jesus. Ubi was hesitant. Jordan continued to invite until Ubi said yes.